if you are in a situation that you need to share your spreadsheets with other users who can change things and you want to stay in control, then you want to share your spreadsheet with others. How, how do you do that? You go to the review tab, protect and share the workbook. Sharing with track changes. If you want the password, go ahead. Then it tells me that it will save the workbook. It has to be saved now as a shared workbook. So when I click on OK, it will show you on top YouTube sharing shared. That means everyone who has access to this file on the network or wherever can share information. We can make changes now to any of these data and anyone can. The only limitations are there is no more merging or inserting conditional formatting, data validation, charts and drawing tools, pivot table changes, no more grouping, no more new macros. Old macros will still work because they are part of the shared book. So let's say we we change something that should be 114 and that should be 173. So how can we review all that information now? We go to the review information, track changes and highlight the changes. You can select when do you want to, the changes since the last time I saved? Who? Everyone? And where? I'm going to leave that one empty. I want to see the whole sheet. When I click on OK, you will notice that these cells are highlighted as changed. It tells you even when you hold your mouse over it when it was changed and which user changed it. Say you are in charge of this shared sheet. Only you can do this. You go again to review, track changes. And I'm going to decide whether I want to accept the changes, yes or no. It will save the workbook. Okay. Which changes do you want to accept or reject? You have all choices again, maybe from only certain people on the shared file. And you can go through all of them and find out which one you accept, which one you re reject. I'm going to say accept all changes. And now nothing is highlighted anymore. Because you, as the final authority, decided that all of that should be done. On this sheet, it has the same information, except for a few differences. We make changes here again. Let's say that it should be 100. And this one should be 200. We save the changes. And we go to review, track the changes, highlight the changes. But this time we are going to say list the changes on a new sheet. So it says I didn't find anything. So what did we do wrong? We are going to highlight the changes again. I am going to say all. Not since I last saved, for nothing has been changed since I last saved. List the changes on a new sheet. Click on OK. And we got a new sheet that has all the changes and who was the user who did that. In this case, it's all me. And it says, on which sheet do you find all of this? So here are all the filters. So you can say in which range do you want, etc. I don't think I have to explain that to you.
if you want to stop sharing, notice that the two cells that were changed are marked. If you say from now on, this is the final spreadsheet and I don't want anyone to, sh to change anything anymore. So you stop sharing. First, I have to decide whether I want to accept all these changes. Let's say I accept all of them. Accept all. First thing you have to do is unprotect the shared workbook. Then track changes, highlight the changes. And notice there way on top it says track changes while editing. This also makes it a shared workbook. I click on OK. It will remove the workbook from shared use. Yes. So from now on it is no longer shared. There is much more to sharing. If you want to know much more about sharing and many other issues in Excel, then I refer you to a CD-ROM that I developed for you. It has three huge modules of more than 500 slides each, and it discusses all issues you could ever dream of in Excel. You can find that CD-ROM at MrExcel.com and GenesisPC.com. And my name is Gerard Verschuur. I wish you good luck with Excel, even if you want to share it.